history in the making. Taking a live look this morning at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, where I grew up, where just hours from now, astronauts will lift off from U.S. soil for the first time in more than a decade. That is, if the weather will hold up, it does look a little bit cloudy out there. We have team coverage of this exciting mission this morning. Jim Castillo is standing by to let us know how that weather is going to be for the launch, so hopefully it doesn't get put off. But first, we want to get out to our Savannah Louie because she has more on why this launch is extra special to the St. Louis area. Savannah, good morning. Ali, this is just so cool. So Bob Benkin, one of the guys that's going up in space, is actually from St. Anne. I'm told that he was a pretty normal kid growing up, you know, always going to the school dances, even trying out for the high school football team his senior year. But he was also always extremely bright, the kind of kid who was always taking those advanced science classes, right? So this is actually going to be Bob's third mission up in space. Uh, and it's one that's been six years in the making. This mission will test the SpaceX transportation system. It's the final test before the system can be certified for regular commercial crew flights. Yesterday, I spoke with one of Bob's good friends who said COVID-19 is slightly impacting this launch. The astronauts had to quarantine for 14 days and they've had limited communication. In the past, Bob's friends and family have watched his launches in person in Florida. This time, though, they'll have to watch a private web screening as opposed to being down in Florida and seeing it in person, we're gonna see it on a little TV. Um, but it's an incredibly important event. So we also got some dehydrated ice cream and some tang to make it a party. Hey, and good news is you can make it a very uh, your very own watch party yourself. Anyone can watch the launch from NASA TV. It's going to be on at 3:33 our time, and you can watch that at NASA.gov. Now, I'm also told that when Bob returns from his missions, he's made it kind of a habit to actually return to Pattonville High School and speak with some of the students about what he's experienced. So, parents, if you're watching right now, and if your kid goes to school here. Could be something to keep an eye out for. Reporting live from Pattonville High School, Savannah Louie, five on your side. That is so cool, feeling so much pride this morning. Okay, Savannah, thanks. And we want to bring Jim back in now because, Jim, as we know, the weather can cancel this whole thing. It could get pushed off to Saturday. Do you think that the conditions will be okay at 3.33 today? <laughs> Yeah, our time 333, 433 in, uh, of course, Cape Canaveral. But guess what? I was reading the Twitter account of SpaceX, 60% favorable. So that means 40% not favorable. And let me show you why. Look at this tropical satellite shot here. The big yellow X, that is a possible development of a tropical system. It's moving into the southeast U.S. coast, so away from Cape Canaveral. But look at what's happening this morning right near the Cape. More thunderstorms. You can see the colorful clouds. Those are thunderstorm tops. And so the yellows and the oranges are the higher tops. And so thunderstorms are popping up there. So the forecast, their time, 433 launch time, rain likely after five. So mid 80s, south, southeast wind at 10. So guys, again, they're watching that weather forecast very, very carefully. I'll have our forecast coming up in just a bit. Okay, Jim, thanks. Well, fingers crossed. Again, that launch is happening at 333 our time. And if it doesn't go as scheduled, that next window again will be on Saturday. If it does, we will run a special report right here on Five on Your Side, as well as on all of our social media platforms.